Hi friends, welcome to Epcot and welcome to an evening where we are checking out Festival of the Arts. Tonight we are celebrating the theater arts, the Broadway arts. Performing um, arts. Performing arts, <laughs> uh, some of my favorites. So I'm here with AJ and we are headed in. We're gonna quickly ride Guardians of the Galaxy, but what we're here for tonight is the dining experience at Spice Road Table and then the Broadway performance, which I am super excited about. Tonight is Kissy Simmons and Josh Strickland. They're from The Lion King and Tarzan, respectively. And uh, yeah. Josh is one of your favorites. Josh is one of my favorites. So come along with us. This is the first time we're dining at Spice Road Table. The first time we're doing a dining package for the festival for preferred seating. Because since Josh is one of my favorites, I wanted those good seats. So we're gonna go check it out. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name's Ivy. I'm a Disneyland local that loves traveling to Disney World and taking you guys along with us. Let's go eat dinner. We made it over to Port of Entry and we are going to hop on a friendship boat for a trip to Morocco, faster than walking around. So we have sat down at Spice Road table. Um, for the, the Broadway package, you get two entrees. It includes the sampler platter. So we were going back and forth on what to get because we did want some of the heartier items like the lamb and the chicken and those come in the sampler platter. So that totally helped us because we had picked out like five things, five or six things that we wanted. So the Broadway package is two items off of the menu plus a non-alcoholic beverage and then they bring you a dessert plate after. So um, they are known for their mint iced tea. So that's what I got as my non-alcoholic beverage. AJ got that and also a Moroccan mule. And then we are going to start with the sampler platter, the hummus fries, which they are like their signature item, the fried cauliflower and the hummus spread. No, the non-spreads. So I am excited to dive in. Spice Road table is like tapas style. So we're just out here. It's sunset and Epcot. You're near the water. There's great people watching. We're just gonna enjoy the evening and enjoy some food. So for my non-alcoholic beverage, I got the mint iced tea. And I, we, if you're new here, I like a little bit more of a sweeter drink. So I was a little concerned. I was like, oh, I hope it's sweet enough. Uh, it's real sweet not in a bad way it kind of tastes like spearmint gum is dissolved in tea like that's the vibe i'm getting but it's delicious and on a hot epcot day i like i feel like i could come over here and just down these so cheers to that out came our sampler which has the lamb kepta the cheese in the phyllo dough and chicken. The cheese in the phyllo dough, tirupatakia. I mean, I wasn't gonna go for that. <laughs> and then this is the non-spreads. We have some marinated olives, some hummus. Look at that. And lastly, we got the hummus fries and the fried cauliflower. This is our spread. It smells so good. I like can't even explain all of the like seasonings and spices that just, oh, I'm so excited to eat this. I think we're going into the fried cauliflower just for texture purposes. It is very hot. AJ's burning his mouth. Okay, noted, noted. Cauliflower comes out hot, but it's tossed in a sauce. So because I like really crispy foods, I think I'm gonna go after that. So here is like the whole piece of cauliflower. We have some little microgreens and pomegranate seeds on top. It's tossed in a sauce. I didn't even look at it on the menu. It was recommended by the manager that sat us and we went, mm, that sounds great because we really enjoyed the cauliflower at Space 220. This is definitely not as mushy. It is more of an al dente cauliflower. It looks like it's tossed in something, like in some sort of cream sauce on the inside before it's battered and fried. AJ has not said a word since he started eating, so I think it's good. <laughs> it's so good. Right? Wow. It tastes a little bit like, um, I know this is probably not it, but I'm just kind of relating it to things that I know. 
It tastes like a little bit of like sweet Thai chili, a little bit of honey. Yeah. yeah. The cauliflower is super crunchy. Like it is like almost raw still on the inside, which from a texture standpoint, again, I really like. That is delicious. Delicious. I would 100% get, get the cauliflower again. No problem. No, I love naan. So I really wanted the naan spreads plate. I know it's not like, um, this is not Sanaa. We don't have 85 <laughs> dipping sauces, but this hummus and the zatar seasoning and the olive oil on it. And you don't always love hummus. Oh, I like it just a little bit. So good. So good. The thing that I was the most excited to come here for is the hummus fries. So I'm pretty sure these are just bricks of fried hummus. It is served with a sauce. I love me a good dipping sauce. Here's the way I look at this. The hummus fries are a vessel for this delicious sauce. <laughs> AJ doesn't love the hummus fries as much. Nope. I do feel like, I feel like shockingly out of what I've eaten so far, it's not bad in any way, but it's probably not, it's probably my least favorite of the three dishes I've tried. AJ just explained that he thought when we were getting hummus fries, we were getting like French fries with toppings. Like carnitas fries. Like a carnitas fries or something, but not a, deep fried hummus. So now we have the chicken. It is super seasoned. There's a little bit of it looks maybe like a yogurt dipping sauce on the plate that I scooped up. Oh, definitely yogurt. That's good too. It needs the yogurt. The seasoning is really good, but it's dry. Oh, my chicken I don't feel like was dry. Oh, the pieces I have is dry. And this is, everything is amazing and I would totally come back. The service at the beginning was a little slow. Like it took a long time for us to get a server. But once we got past that hurdle, everything's been great so far. So, we got six different items overall to choose from because the sampler had three things. I've had all six and I'm sitting here pondering, replaying everything, because you know, I like to rank things. The cauliflower is going to be my number one of these six. Then the lamb. And it's close between the hummus and the cheese-filled phyllo bread. I forgot how to say it, that stuff. Those are both very good. Then the chicken and last the hummus rice. I think that's going to be my ranking. But I'm surprised that the cauliflower is number one. And as part of the dining package, we get a dessert platter. We have a walnut cake. We have an almond cookie and baklava. He's got one. We have, we, oh, AJ almost lost his mint tea. So we ate our dessert. Well, we ate most of our desserts. It was all really sweet, but the almond cookie was delicious. We just got our tickets for the 8 p.m. Broadway show. And our meal was, it came to $47 a person. And that was, the two entrees, the dessert platter, a non-alcoholic beverage, and then your ticket into the preferred seating for the event tonight. So it's kind of looked at like, I believe what I've heard people say is that the ticket's worth about $20 through the different dining options. I feel like for $27, this was a really great meal. I also feel like we ate more than that, but ooh, ooh. We're gonna get moody with the lighting now. <laughs> so we just sat down getting ready for the 8 p.m. show. They let us in at about 7.30. And I mean, we have an amazing seat and I really love it. It's definitely not necessary. We have rolled into a show um, closer to showtime before. I think it really depends on who is performing. Like sometimes during food and wine when you start to get some of those really popular bands or like 
when Joey Fatone and the boy bands are all here, it definitely is um, a little bit harder to get a seat. So that's when dining packages are the most opportune, but like I have just a personal obsession with Josh Strickland. So wanted a really good seat, but I'll give you a view of what it looks like right now. And they've started to let the general like admission section in and there's plenty of seating. So on this side of the stage, this is all of your dining package areas. And you can see, you know, we have the last section of the day. So it's pretty open still. On the opposite side, this is general seating. So people are still trickling in to sit towards the front, but the rest of the amphitheater seating is all pretty open. And I think that also has contributed to it being the 8 p.m. show. You know, normally we try to come a little earlier, but this is what worked out with our schedule today. And now, please welcome the stars of the Disney and Broadway's we are back in the hotel from going to Spice Road Table for dinner and watching the Disney on Broadway shows. 
I had a great time this evening. The dinner at Spice Road Table, the food was delicious. I felt like it was a good value. So here, this is kind of like two parts. It was delicious food, um, great views. Our service was a little slow at the beginning, but our server was very nice. And again, AJ and I loved pretty much everything we ordered. I, I would 100% go back to Spice Road Table again. I'm not rushing back there or anything, but it's a nice place where I feel like sometimes when you're walking around the World Showcase, you're tired, you're hot, you get a little grouchy in that halfway point. And I feel like Spice Road Table is the perfect spot to kind of like take a time out, have a seat in the shade, get a nice mint iced tea and share some nice small bites, but probably not at the top of my list of somewhere to go back if I'm looking for a full meal. So the Spice Road Table meal itself was really delicious. What I found really interesting is there were no discounts on the dining package. I understand that you are getting food and the entertainment, um, but I found it interesting that you didn't get any kind of discount on the food because the entertainment's not guaranteed and you don't get a refund if something happens to the entertainment because they say that you paid for your food. Would you normally get a discount on food? I don't know. Just I'm just throwing it out there as an FYI. So anyone else that goes that may get a discount, AP discount, DVC discount, uh, whatever the discount is, like there are no discounts on the dining packages. So we, again, we did pay that $40, $47 per person. Um, so it averaged, or it worked out to where $27 of it was dedicated towards the meal. $20 of it is kind of like your ticket into the event. Um, now I had the exact seat I wanted for this show. So for me, it was worth it. So we did decide to stop in the theater to watch the 645 show. It is Ashley Brown and Michael King Scott. So normally in the years past, Ashley's performed with Josh Strickland, so we've seen her before, but this is our first time seeing Michael, who's best known for his role as the genie. Oh, Oh, Michael, will you come hold my microphone, please? Oh, no, darling, I don't do that. <laughs> but I do have another idea. Stop by and watch the show in the American Gardens Theater tonight. We did not have the dining package, so you can see how the seats were different. We had different points of view. We were a little further back. Um, it was totally fine, still great views, great seating, but you can just tell the difference. So again, if it's someone that's important to you that you really want to see up close, I think the dining package was super fun to do last night. Tonight, we just strolled up 10 minutes before the show. 
grabbed a seat and it was totally fine. We also grabbed a couple of bites from the um, America Pavilion and brought it into the theater with us. So it totally worked out. All in all, it was, I felt like it was a great night. The show was great. I love watching Josh Strickland. Kissy Simmons was fantastic. Uh, now I really, 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 AJ, really would like to go see Hercules because they dropped a ton of hints that it should be going to Broadway. So it's in New, it's supposed to open in New Jersey shortly and all the hints point to Broadway. That would be amazing. I love Hercules. Anyways, um, so thank you for coming along with us on this evening of, you know, something a little bit different for us of doing a, a nice dining and experience review. So I enjoyed our experience doing the dining package for the Broadway performance shows. Uh, I would totally try it again. Uh, maybe something for, uh, food and wine, like maybe a band that I really want to see and try a different restaurant. So most of the restaurants on the dining packages, um, Rose and Crown, Coral Reef, Spice Road Table, and Le Cellier are all places we hadn't eaten before. So we kind of were able to knock two new things out at the same time. There is a quick service option at Regal Eagle. So you can go into Regal Eagle, let them know that you want the dining package, and then they'll you know, get you squared away with what is included in that. So all the restaurants have a little bit of a different pricing structure. They all include different things. Um, but what they do all include is your ticket to the preferred seating section of the show. But thank you guys so much for watching along. If you have any questions, definitely drop those down below. If you have a favorite show that you would like to see throughout any of the festivals, let me know what it is. I'll keep my eye out for it because we're definitely coming back for uh, we have a trip planned for Flower and Garden and we have a trip planned for Food and Wine. I need to look on, on the list and see who's performing because maybe, maybe we'll do this again. But thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one.